A manhunt ends with gunfire tonight. The man suspected of shooting and killing a man in downtown Portland last Saturday night is now also dead. It is five o'clock. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jeff Gianola. And I'm Dan Tilkin. It all started last Saturday when a pro-President Trump rally pushed into Portland. A gunman shot and killed Patriot Prayer supporter Aaron J. Danielson. Police identified Danielson Monday, but never named a suspect. Well, yesterday, Michael Rinell admitted to the killing in a Vice News report saying he had no choice. Then last night, federal agents located the suspect near Olympia in Lacey, Washington, where he was shot to death. And now some very important information. We just received new court documents telling us what investigators say happened during that deadly encounter last Saturday night. The Multnomah County arrest warrant says that after the shooting, detectives found one spent casing lying in the street. It was next to a metal canister of bear attack deterrent and an expandable metal baton. They also found that the man who was shot, Aaron J. Danielson, was armed with a gun. However, they believed he did not fire it after doing a check of the number of rounds still in the magazine. Detectives reported that they also interviewed the victim's friend, Chandler Pappas, who could be seen rushing to his side after the shooting. He told detectives, that he and Jay had been drinking earlier in the evening and wanted to see what was going on. Papa said he recalled seeing two people that they were facing off with. He then heard two gunshots. He described the shooter as white. Police say tips and a suspect description led them to Michael Raynell. U.S. Attorney General William Barr said about the shooting today, the streets are safer without a violent agitator. Tonight, we're learning more about who he was. Our Jenny Young spoke with a man who knew Michael Rennell. And Jenny, what did he tell you? Well, Jeff, Dan, he said that he knew him to be armed at times to carry a gun. One of uh, Rennell's social media posts said that he is or was 100% Antifa, and we know that the AG's office also saying that. PPB still not releasing a statement about this, even though uh, Mr. Danielson was shot and killed right here near this corner where we're standing. Lots of lawyers suggest that I shouldn't even be saying anything. That's accused killer Michael Rinell in an interview with Vice News. He was shot and killed by law enforcement Thursday night, just hours before the interview was set to air. You can't yeah. shoot somebody in the chest and run off. And then and then you get on that thing I saw on Facebook, uh, the video with Vice, and, and he's talking like it, like he was hunting. And uh, we're not animals. Craig Gilbert was acquainted with Rynell. He runs Gilbert's Tire Pros in Gresham, where he says Rynell was a customer for more than a decade. Gilbert says he was shocked when he saw the Vice News interview making its rounds on social media, where Rynell admits to shooting and killing 39-year-old Aaron J. Danielson last Saturday during a pro-Trump caravan that was met by counter-protesters in downtown Portland. This video from a Twitter user shows Rynell among those counter-protesters. Take a look as we slow the clip down and zoom in. Everybody's got a right to do what they want to do if it's peaceful. Unfortunately, it hasn't been peaceful, but you can't walk up because somebody's got a, a Patriot prayer hat or a Trump hat or whatever and shoot him in the chest. It's wrong and it's got to stop. The U.S. Attorney General's office released a statement Friday saying local authorities had an arrest warrant for the suspect who had fled Portland. He was tracked to Lacey, Washington by a fugitive task force led by U.S. Marshals and the FBI. It also included local and state law enforcement. The AG's office says Rynell tried escaping. He was shot dead by officers when he allegedly pulled a gun on them. I'm heartbroken for the family. I have sympathy for the family. I don't have sympathy for him. Okay, so that suspect also cited back in July for having a loaded gun at one of the protests. He was also shot in the elbow at another protest on July 26. Reporting live tonight, Jenny Young, Coin 6 News.